footage, that's what I want to see. <laughs> right, hello, good morning. We are on a very beautiful um, <laughs> eight Barracuda today boat, twin outboard. Um, we're with Ben's friend John, very, very kindly has invited us both out on his boat. What a superb boat this is. Um, yeah, big, big boat, powerful boat, very comfortable boat, very quick. And today we're going well offshore. Um, it's sort of towards the end of January. Um, and we're gonna go for some Pollock and some bass on the wrecks. That's all we're doing today. Uh, there might be a bit of squidding at slack water, possibly, but don't hold me to that. That's subject to change. But definitely uh, a lot of wrecking. We're gonna go through a lot of lures. We, <laughs> we've stocked up on Sidewinder lures. Uh, they're the only lures I use, as you know. Uh, we've got some Scary's eels, we've got some Shaz, we've got some different colors, variants. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see if we can pick out some big Pollock. Um, my target will be a 10 pound Pollock today. If I can get that, I'll hit my personal target. But at the end of the day, it's with two great people. We're gonna have a really good laugh. And uh, yeah, hopefully the boys are gonna smash it out. Tactics are gonna be boom and shad set up. I'll sort of talk to them throughout the day. I'm not gonna jibble too much because there's three of us on the boat and um, we don't wanna be talking all day. So um, I'll do a little bit here and there. But um, yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the footage, and hopefully I can show you how we uh, catch a few pollock, hopefully maybe even a bass or two on the wrecks. See you in a bit. boys in there are just working out the fishing line and working out the drift and how we're going to go over this wreck. Um, we're approaching slack water, we've got about half an hour left of the, uh, the ebbing tide. When the tide's lower, so it's either a small tide or you're getting towards slack water, you can usually get away with a lower weight. So I'm putting a six ounce today, I'm going to try and get away with that for the first hour or two and then I would imagine as the tide picks up might have to go to an 8, a 10 or a 12. But yeah, try, try and get away with as lightweight as possible. But obviously you want to be in direct contact with the lure or the seabed. You know, you want to be directly down, not drifting off like that, otherwise you end up fishing it 30, 40 foot up in the air. Well, not in the air, up in the water if that makes sense. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Sunrise is gorgeous. The boat phenomenal power behind it so a twin 150 suzuki so it's got a lean burn system on it so when we're going along using about 30 liters an hour 30 knots pretty impressive yeah so about 1.1 1.2 liters a mile that's pretty pretty good right see how we go cool. so it's a very snaggy wreck this one you just can't you can't drop on the top of it uh, it just takes you lure immediately. Very, very big wreck though. So I put on a six, but actually I think I'm going to put on an eight ounce just to get down a little bit quicker and be in a bit more direct contact because I'm swinging up. I was just going to put on an eight ounce, but um, Ben and John just said there's loads of fish showing on the finder. I can't see it from where I am. So I'm just going to quickly go back down and see if we can nap one. Start bringing yours up, Jake. Yep. You up, Jake? I'm very near. I'm up. So the setup today, boom, weight, and then about eight foot of 30 pounds fluoro. Then we're going to try the new colour which uh, Sidewinder have got out. We've got a six inch uh, 
Wagasaki <laughs> uh, lure, just to give it a go. Try that colour first, and if I don't get anything, I'll swap over. Thank you, John. Yes. For three months. Well, that, John. Oh, bit hey. of wreck there. That's Mr. John, lovely little pump. That was on the black blacks. In the morning. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Well, that, John. In the morning. What well up, right. buddy? So, John's, John's the only one we've fished so far. We're going on our third drift. Um, we're losing the side a little bit now, so it'll be um, yeah, we're going over pretty slowly. But um, there are fish on it. They did that. I'm getting quite a few pets. I think they're pouting. Um, but hopefully, we'll pull out one in a minute. Just adjusting the speed, trying to find out what they want. When they're pecking it, usually they want it a bit faster. If they're pecking it, carry on winding because if, if there's a big pollock chasing it up, more often than not, you'll see uh, you'll see them take it. You know, a few more turns after that initial peck. So. Yeah, don't stop, don't strike it, just carry on wide and it'll look itself. Normally they absolutely engulf the lure. Yep, fish on, fish on, fish on. You in, Jake? Yep, in. Jake's in off behind me. Quite high up that. Not a big one, don't think, but. So we are in, guys. Quite high up that one. Took quite a sort of slow, slow wind. Don't think it's big, it's giving up ghosts a little bit. It might even be a big pouting, but it had quite a few knocks to begin with. I haven't felt it knocking now, so, oh no, it's still there, it's still there. So Jake, he's fighting 50 on it. Hopefully, we won't need a net, we can just get it in quickly. It's a nice steady wind, here he comes. Oh, wow! Oh, massive cuckoo rat! <laughs> that is massive huge. male cuckoo rat! That, is that needs to be weighed. Guys, that is an enormous cuckoo wrasse well, right, on a black sidewinder the record actually for a male isn't that big so that might have to be measured just for uh, yeah sure have a little look that is absolutely gorgeous look at the colors on that i've got something i've got a nice over there it's got a squid yeah, let go i had a squid or a cuttle then <laughs> yeah, i've got fish cut, there cut the look cut the knot of the lure do you yeah, I, 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 I want to So that cracking cuckoo wrasse, guys, that male cuckoo wrasse, they don't normally go that big. I mean, that's quite fat. Um, yeah, beautiful colours on it. The females are quite bland. They're still pretty, but they're normally an orange colour or just a singular colour. And the males, you've got them lovely blues and turquoises. Yeah, stunning fish. So we're fishing this wreck pretty much on slack water and the wind's just basically drifting us across. We're still catching fish. It just shows doesn't always mean there's no fish on slack water. Also, John's just an absolute prime skipper. And he's got the lucky charm today. Well, wrasse have actually quite, uh, not, not sharp teeth, but they just destroy lures. Any soft plastic in their mouth, it destroys it. So that little black, uh, I think four inch, scary zeal I had on, it had come away from the, the hook a little bit. So straight swap. Going for a slightly longer trace this time with a, a four inch white one just to see if it makes a difference when you reckon you will burn through a lot of money on the lures but it's all part and part of, part of it comes the wreckage so, yeah. yeah fish on fish on fish on fish on Spot. yeah better one better one Hello, Here we go. Whoa! Here we go. Oh. <laughs> you got a nice one? Yeah. Jake's got a nice fish, guys, behind me. Yeah, that's a better fish. That looks very pollocky as well. Yeah, that's had a couple of diving runs as well. Gonna back that drag off a bit. Let him just take a bit of lime when he wants to. Gonna need a net for this one, I think. I'm in the wreck. This could be a nice one. I'm in the wreck. As I said about that longer leader, guys, it's worth changing over sometimes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll square up, I'll, I'll lock my gear, so I'll square up. Woo, it's going to be a shoot! Hopefully it stays on. You're fine. It's on a little four inch white scaries, this one. And a longer trace. Oh, there she comes. Trying to get you. There she comes. It's not massive, but it's all right. Yes! Get in. Not massive, but not a bad size at all. The take was a very, very savage. He had a lot of power in him, so I thought he was a bit bigger than that, but I'm not gonna complain about that. 
<laughs> he shook. He shook the lure out of his mouth. Let's get you on us. That's why you've got to keep the tension on it, because he literally shook his mouth and uh, yeah, out the lure came. Lovely, lovely pollock on a gorgeous January day. Yeah, Get up in my box, it's fine. Let's go around again. Sure. There you go. That's what it was I'm on. Not on me, I'm good. Well, that's not bad, is it? Another pollock. That's my first pollock of the day, and I've had that lovely cooker grass as well. So, hey, absolutely buzzing. What a lovely fish. But yeah, I just thought I'd change to a white one because I don't think there's other people using white today. I don't think John's on one. I don't mean Ben's on. So I just thought I'd give it a go. Um, yeah, just chose the four inch one. I like the small ones. I don't know why. I've just got a thing with the, the small little white ones. Um, yeah, and just lengthened up the trace. It seemed to work, but might have just been lucky. <laughs> I'll get this camera straight in a minute. I and mean, then you won't be looking at me wonky. It's gone it's again there. <laughs> Guys, we've arrived at the wreck now. Um, this is sort of the one we were aiming to come out at, so we're here now. Probably take a couple of drifts just to get it bang on, and then hopefully stay here for the rest of the day, don't lose too much gear, catch a few nice big doubles. That's the idea. Gorgeous day out here, flat, flat, calm, glassy. Sun's out, what more could you ask for? Now, the wrecking game is all about being quick and adaptable, so that's just snapped. I don't think it snapped on the wreck. I think it's just had a lot of wear and tear. It's been used for the last few days and that's broken. Everything on mine is detachable. So on the end of my braid or my leader, I've got a quick link, which that slides onto. And then I've got another link there, which my lure trace goes onto. So if, if, even if that breaks, all you've got to do, unclip it from your leader, from your main rod, bang on another one, put your leader lure back on. No time, it's all just clip, 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 go takes seconds the quicker the more you're prepared the more fishing time you're going to have because you will lose lures and you will lose gear but if you've got lots to hand and it's all detachable and easy then uh, hopefully you'll be on the fish for a bit longer that's the idea anyway slow the wine down a bit so i just learned it's two and a half knots drift speed so when it's a really fast drift i tend to slow my wine down a little bit on the retrieve otherwise you think your boat's going along at two and a half knots and if you're winding fast Comes up quick. And the wreck is just coming in. Yep, fish on, fish on, fish on. Yep, Jake's nice. In. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. oh here you go. Got something on. Yep, nice. This is this is nice. This is nice. Come off, come off. No, keep reeling. Come, come off, off, I think. Yeah, come off. Oh, cool. I lost a good fish there, guys. That's really annoying. I loosened the gear a little bit because I think it might have been a little bit tight, but. We'll see. I think next time we'll keep the gear in strike mode and hopefully stay on. Did you lose it, John? I lost the stuff. Let's hold up. Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. Nice fish, Jake, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to dwell on it. You won? No, I lost it. Oh. Very shame, really. That was a nice one. Oh, it's heartbreaking, isn't it, when you lose a nice fish like that? It's all right, that was the first drift, so we're still down there. Hopefully, I'll uh, redeem myself. Um, so, sometimes they pop off, there's not a lot you can do. Um, you know, it was crashing and um, legit, legit. just drop the gear a little bit just to give it a little bit more line, but obviously that was enough for it to drop. Came off the end, didn't it? First fish on the new wreck is a smaller version of what I had the other day. It's a lovely bass, it has blown. We are in deep water here now. Just goes on the line anyway, 42. Happy days, nice one, John. Well done. Yep. Oh, oh, just come on. Oh, yep. Oh, oh no. He doesn't quite want to. Yep. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Real one. Real one. Yep. John, to as well, Ronnie. Triple hook up, guys. Triple hook up. <laughs> this is what we here come we for. Here we go. Nice fish on here, guys. It's not massive, but it took me for some big crashing well, dives. I haven't Jake, felt Jake, it for a Jake, while. Pollock. Not Jake, that big, but. Jake, there we go. Another one. 
Good job. All right, mate. There you go. Much appreciated. That's me, that's a fast. Thank you, mate. Got it, another pollock yeah. on the uh, oh, Wagasaki death. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Ben's that's got another nice bass. Look at that. Yes, please. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> Ben's got another cracking bass down there. Absolutely lovely. That was never coming off of that. Well, that was a good drift, wasn't it? Ben had a cracking bass, about five and a half, six pounds. Maybe yeah, maybe a bit more, but um, I'd had a nice pollock. I hope yours was a bass. Yeah. I was. We're gonna, mine was a bass. I thought it you was. saw it I as thought, well. Thought, mm, yeah, I'm gutted. I lost bass, a huge bass, fish. Bass. Probably a double bass, but he's still down there. We might, we might get him. We'll get him. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to come a bit lower, mate. What speed have we got now? Oh, fish on. Oh, no. Yep. Fish on. Yeah. Very small, though. It might be a pout in. Not yet. Yeah, you got a fish on, guys. It's uh, odd. Nice pollocky. Pollocky? Yeah. It's idea. not diving. Very small one, I think, guys. It might even be a pout in, but it's definitely a fish on. No, a small pollock. Oh, small pollock, yeah. Too noddy. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It is. Oh, good. Good. Yes. Oh, that one. Look at that. Oh, lovely Another species. Tough, isn't it? Yeah, a little tough. Yeah. Another fish. Another species. Beautiful tub gurnard. On that sidewinder lure there, through rather than custard. <laughs> I knew it wasn't a pollock, and I, I thought, a bit, bit too big for a pout. But there you go, gorgeous, another species. So we just had that nice tub gurner, we're going back down again, see what we can get. Dropping into it, chaps, dropping into it. Oh, it's just coming up now. Oh, oh, oh. oh what happened to drop into it like that? Oh, well, boys and girls, <laughs> when you're near France, well, you're on the way there. We eat croissants. <laughs> hey, uh, it looks it was a fat yeah, fish. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Jake's in. Um, yep, here we go. Lovely fat fish, but didn't have the length. Yep. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm in the wrecks, so I'm not concentrating. Uh, yeah, um, big one. Jake's got one here. I'm going to film Jake because I'm just looking over there, I think so. Oh, that's a big one. Ben, this is a nice one. Nice fish. Yeah. yeah. You see it? No. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. He's bullying him, yeah. Yeah, I'm just letting it. I'm just letting it. Do you know what I mean? You let it Come on, Jake. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's done quite a few runs. This one's got a lot of run. Going slow. Just going slowly. Letting the rod do the work when it wants to. Got it up this far, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, no! I can see the boat! <laughs> I'm not going, I'm over here. The waves are coming out to the right. Yeah, he's there now. Cushion it, cushion it, cushion it. Oh, he's a big boy! He's not in the net yet, it's not no. in the net. Oh, he's <laughs> 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, now that is a stonker. You have to grab the weight pin and just um. Yep. That's it. I don't want to hit John's boat with it. Blimey! That's bigger than mine, boys. That's huge. Bigger than mine. That is huge. Oh, look at that, boys. That is. <laughs> you want that picture in there, Jake? <laughs> look at that fish, guys. That is. I'm going to go 30 and a half pound. That's awesome. Look at that, sidewinder, rhubarb and custard. That is the one which is producing at the moment. Wow, I'm buzzing. God, just like that cracking pollock. 12 and a half pound, I'm very, very happy with that. John's just set us up again on the same line. I was a fish showing, not even on the wreck line. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, there's a tap. Yep, yeah, fish on. Fish up, fish up. You and Jake? Yep. Same one. Oh, yeah. Jake, Jake, Jake. In again. In again. Whoa! Not no. a good one? Oh, he's come off. He's come off. Oh, Didn't change the gear. I think he got into that wreck. 
Lost a big pollock there. Ah, oh, come on, take it. They're not taking it. Gonna wind up, make sure it's still There's on. Fish there, guys. I have something just grabbed hold of mine and let go. Hi, oh. come off. Snap That's me off. Good. Snap me. I got. Oh, there's a tap. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Take it. Take it. You don't want it? No? All right, then. Down we go again. You in, John? John's in. John's in. John's got a rip on. Double hook up the other side. Oh, shit. It's oh, yeah. It's going to be lost, oh. it? Whoa. No, I got off. Did it pull you no, off? Come off, pull me off. Oh, they both had some nice oh, fish the other side of the boat. Damn, John! Oh. They both come off. They were two nice fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I can do. I caught it right on the wreck. I thought I can't let it. No, can't let it go. Yeah, yeah it's cut me off again. Yeah. See? Ah, oh. guys, this is heartbreaking. We're getting pollock, big ones, right on the wreck. But I don't want to bully it, bully it up because we'll just pull the hook. But they cut me off twice now. Oh. Right. I've lost two fish now on both drifts. John lost one the exact same way I have. Pollock is picking up the lure very early on on the on the retrieve and it's diving straight into the the, uh, the wreck. The gears are quite tight. I can up the gear a little bit more, but then I'm right. I'm going to pull the hook, but I'm losing gear anyway. So on this one, I'm going to crank the gear up a little bit more. And I'm going to have to try and bully that fish out of the wreck. If I manage to pick it up a little bit higher up, I can back the gear off just a little bit. But we need to get these fish up and out of the wreck they're big fish these are 15 there could be some 20 pound fish down there so we want to uh, yeah we want to try and catch one um obviously i've caught a lovely 12 and a bit pound fish but yeah we've got to try and bully it out the wreck this time <laughs> what a day in the glorious sunshine with two awesome mates right guys see if we can pick up a big one on this one i'm going to crank the gear up a little bit hopefully if we do hook up we won't lose it but I will have to bully it. Okay, we've got to do it once or twice just to see how the lures work. It's not quite that uh, accurate because you've yep, got fish on. Oh. oh, what happened there? Yeah, fish on, but I don't. Yeah, fish ooh, on. Ooh, ooh. Fish on, guys. But I think it's just a small thing. I don't really know. I don't really know what it is. There's a bit of weight to it now. Yeah, he's, he's woken up a little bit. Maybe it'd be another gurnard or something. Oh, another gurnard. <laughs> Said it red might be. Gurnard. Yeah, red gurnard this time. Red bump. Yep. Right. All right, another fish, another species. Got a, got a red gurnard this time. Just on the. Oh, oh. oh. John's just lost. Another John's just lost nice another fish. fish. Snap you off as well, didn't he? John, that was another nice fish. There you go. Red gurnard, three barb and cast aside, wind a four inch. And if you listen very carefully, you'll hear him groaning. Yeah, he's cool. That's right, I don't think he's massive. Right, so we've got, got a fish on here, guys. Very pollocky bite. I don't think it's a big one. Do you need net? Nah, probably not, but might, might be like, oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, right. Would you like the net? Maybe get the net just in case. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine it was a nice John Dory or something? <laughs> no, not with this fight. John Dorys don't fight. They're like a bag. Pulling up like a dead weight. I'm so glad I got that. Had a few camera. dives, though. Yeah, definitely a pollock. It has had a few little goes. Your um, your rod tubes come out. <laughs> all right, pull it off. No, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Dropped it down to a four inch there, um, rhubarb and custard. So he's only a small one, I think. I don't think he's very big. All count, he has all had a few dives. They all count, mate. I see it. We've not had one for a while, so it'd be nice to get one in the net. Right, here it comes. It's a rat. That's a rat. <laughs> Another species. <laughs> Low and slow, baby. Well, they don't call me as the species angler for no reason. Cheers, bud. Yeah, uh, Ballon Rass, this one. Um, not a massive one. I thought it was a bit of an odd fight, but there we go. A lovely uh, wreck caught Ballon Rass. Yeah, very pretty, aren't they? Not quite as pretty as the Cuckoo Rasses, but um, yeah, pretty nice all the same. Again, on a, on a sidewinder. Right, there we go. Thank you for this wreck. It's been a bit of a bit of a gold mine today. It's been really lovely. Not a gold mine, but it's, it's done well. We had some really nice fish. We've also lost some nice fish as well. Would have been nice to convert a few more of those, but it is what it is. Um, we had to adjust our tactics a little bit, and by that time, tide has switched off a bit, and they just weren't committing as much. So we're going to go and hit another wreck on the way home, 
and uh, just see if we can pull out a bonus fish or not. Just arriving uh, to this other wreck, which we're gonna hit on the way home. This will probably be our last wreck of the day. I still can't get over how lovely today's been. Three guys will get on lighthouse on fire. Just fish me good, mate. It's the best thing in it. Out on the sea with the nature, beautiful weather. Wish it was like this every day, but unfortunately, sometimes we've got to work. So, we're gonna do a few drifts on this. We're gonna lose a couple more lures. See if we can pick up one or two bonus fish. We might not, we might do, but. It's got to be worth a go, it's on the way home. See if one of us can't pull out something a little extra just to... Oh, to fish on, fish on, fish on. Jake is in. Yep, big, big fish, big fish. Jake's into a big lovely fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't felt it for a bit, but I think it's just had its initial. Yep. He still wants to go. He's yeah. fought me all the way up here. Right, I, don't know, I don't know if it's massive, but it's going to be all right. Here he comes, here he comes. Yep, nice pollock. Yeah, that's fine. Cheers, mate. Right guys, got a long, long trace on here. We're gonna try and get him in. And boom, there we go, lovely. Not massive, but not bad at all. Thought that'd be a bit bigger. He went off on one. First drop down. There you go, guys. Sidewinder, rhubarb and custards, look. So that's the that's where it is there. That's why we've got to keep the tension on it. Because that has just fallen out of place. But that was like that. So I mean, you imagine you drop the lure straight out. They make a really big hole there. There we go. Beautiful. That's why we stop off on the wrecks on the way home, um, just for a bonus fish like that. Obviously, we're not, we've left this one alone all day, so it's had time for the comp fish to get a bit more confident, a bit more, you know, moving around. And that's just on the almost slack water. Yeah, another nice one. Wreck, wreck. <laughs> well, wreck or fish? Wreck. 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 <laughs> hold it. <laughs> that's definitely wreck. You in as well? The no, I'm, 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 oh no! I, I've seen you go in the wreck. I'm. Oh, I lost it all. Lost, <laughs> look, that's all right. That's, that's you going home. Me, me and John are still in the game. Oh no! If you do another reset, I'll certainly be ready. No, I am going home empty-handed as well. Hang on, I'm still in. Hang on. Oh fire! Both John and Jake have lost their gear. That's really funny. I've not lost a boom or a weight all day, and almost the last. Uh, oh! Come on. Almost yeah. Almost the last one we do. Wreck. Wreck. <laughs> Lost it. Wreck. That's the sign of Mother Nature. Kept a bit of it. That's telling us. Well, yeah, back. that's it. That's Mother t Mother Nature telling us you've had your fair share, boys. Yeah, we've had our share. Now bugger off. Well, there we go. What a beautiful ending to a day. Um, caught a pollock. We dropped back down. And the first boom and weight I lost was on basically the last drift of the day. Definitely telling us. We've had our fair share, time to go home. Huge thanks to John for the invitation uh, and for skippering us today and resetting the drifts and working hard. An absolute gem. Um, obviously, thanks to Ben as well for introducing me to, uh, to John. We, I think we're gonna have a few more trips in the near future, I hope. What a splendid day. Gorgeous weather, gorgeous environment, and uh, some beautiful fish to go with it. We've uh, yeah, lost a few lures. Burnt a few quid, but that's what this is about. Take care, guys.